Okay, we are. Nine o'clock in the morning. We're running at 181 amp hours out of 300. We're at starting at 61%. We do have 300 amp hours with my two Renogy 40s. 40 amp Rover and PPT controllers. And <clears throat> not quite at full sun, but let's see how they're looking. Here's our 400 watts of HQST. These are all in series. And then we have our Renogy 600 watt. Two sets of three in series. These three are together, and these three are together. Almost got full sun. And right now we're running about 200 to 220 watts. And the sun is going to be up there. So, waiting for the shade to get off that last panel. So, for today on the 400 watt, we got 4 amp hours. And on the 600 watt, we got 3 amp hours. We'll actually go over and see how many amps we're drawing. So, 68 volts on the panels. We got 10 amps coming in on the 400 watt. And then on the 600 watt, we got about 49 volts. And we got 6 amps coming in. So later today we'll see how it's going as soon as the sun hits all of them. Alright, so we finally broke 400 watts between the two arrays. The 600 is putting out 220 watts and the 400 watt HQSTs are putting out the uh, 200 watts. We'll go inside and check the controller. Alright, so we are running 14.3 amps on the 400 watt and we're running 16.5, almost 17 amps on the 600 watt. These Renogy 40 amp controllers are really nice to use. So we got 10 amp hours so far on the 600 watt. Batteries are 17 degrees Celsius. So our panel voltage is 61.7, 61.5. And the other one, we'll go over it, and we'll see. We've done 12 amp hours so far. The 600 watt array is actually shaded a little bit by the RV in the yard. 17 degrees. And we're running 67, 67 volts. That'll be fine. So this array is in... Uh, series which is about 80 volts open circuit versus the 600 watt since it's a uh, two parallel of three series uh, they're running about 65 to 70 volts I can't remember what it was and we're running 14.4 15.63 so we're running a little over 400 watts um, we'll come up here to the monitor Let's see if this will come up on. There we go. So we're putting in 22 amps. And I'll go ahead and kick off the loads that I have here. So we're putting in a total of into the batteries 369 watts, 27.7 amps. And it's saying we should be charged in four hours and three minutes. Of course, if we're not running any loads, a little under four hours. Um, I am, I do have the lights on here in the shed. So, 
but that's at 9:45 in the morning. That's that's not bad out of a thousand watts, a little over 400, and I'll post some screenshots with it too. And here we are at 9:49. Sun's just a little bit higher. Both the panels are completely cleared off from the frost of the morning. We are about 15 amps on the 400 watt and a little over 20 amps on the 600 watt so we got 27 amps coming in I'll kick the loads off for a second so I do have a fan running and uh, the inverter draw and the MPPT controllers I do have a little, little bit of a draw but it's saying we should be full in the next three hours, of course. Right now we are running f over 500 watts now, not even 10 o'clock yet. So we'll be pretty full. We'll be running out for the day when we get back. I'm sure these will be probably in the 90%. But 500 watts just on... Uh, just before 10 o'clock on a thousand watt array. It's not bad. All right, so it is 11.30. And we're about to leave, so we're gonna go in and check this real quick. And we're running 16 amps on the 40 amp, 400 watt, and 28 amps on the 600 watts and we got 37 amps coming in so they should be charged within an hour and 20 minutes when we get back we'll check it again so I put a quick load on it running this little little heater right here 34 and 23 and we're only using four amps right now, so solar controllers are taking care of everything else. Uh, I just checked the app and it's running 780 watts right now at 11.30 in the morning. Not bad. And uh, by the way, 2000 watt or energy. I'll turn this up to high. It's 1500 watt. And so now we're pulling about 1.1 kilowatt off the batteries. This is a shot. So we've got about 36 and 24. So pretty impressive. Alright, here we are at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're at 100%. We've been gone for a few hours. Uh, still got four, 4 amps coming in. <laughs> Looks like we're starting to get a, low, a little overcast and it's almost done for the day but there it is 300 amp hours and we've been running a deep freezer small refrigerator and two lights all day long so we're still getting it about 11 amps total and we got the deep freezer running the little fridge running and then we got two lights running right here but all in all i think we did pretty good today thanks for watching and for anybody that wanted to know what i had in here i've got two renogy 40 amp mppt controllers that's on my 400 watt and then i've got another one 40 amp mppt on 600 watts two 40 40 amp uh, DC PV breakers and These are DC. I know somebody said that they thought they were AC, but that right there shows DC and then we've got two 40 amp Renogy fuses um, 8 gauge wire running from the solar controllers uh, 10 gauge one running for the uh, PV and then we got the Renogy 2000 watt inverter and then that's the original wire it came with at the time 200 amp hour a l fuse 
and then we are using the Renogy 500 amp shunt which is this guy right here and these are full programmable so yeah it's been a great system so far started out small and here we are at a thousand watts 300 amp hour any questions let me know in the comments